You know, one of the things I, I love to do is talk to young people. Young people who are young today and they're gonna get old. And I just talked to those young boys behind me and they were just playing fox, boxing, fighting outside, just playing. I told them, you know, uh, think about life. Think about 10 years from now. These young boys was only 12, 14, 16 years old. What I like about them, they listen. You know, so I had a chance to um, really speak into their life. When I spoke into their life, I discovered that um, they just wanted some direction. They just wanted somebody that could, they could listen to. And when I told them about um, how, how, how life can end so fast and um, how um, at one moment they can be here and gone, one of them start crying. They start thinking about what I was saying. I gave them my number because I want them to understand that if they need somebody to talk to, they don't have to worry about um, somebody giving them information that will cause them to hurt somebody else. You know, so when I talked to these young boys a few minutes ago, four of them there, all of them young, I've had a chance to speak into their life. The Bible says the steps of, an order man, order, of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So my message today was for them. I didn't know when I came down here to do some recording for the TV network that I would be have a chance to talk to four young teenagers, male African-American teenagers. And um, we have to speak into their life and give them um, the right directions. God called the old because we are wise. We know the way. He called the young because they're strong. But they need wisdom. They need direction. So let's be there for our young people. Let's be there because we are the guardians, the, 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 the uh, ones who um, they will listen to. If you speak with love and conviction and, and, and inspiration and they see you ain't playing games, you're gonna listen. All of them guys listen. All those young boys listen, and I pray that the seeds that were sown um, will help them to be better men and better citizens in our society. That's it. All right, y'all, they're not going to be in no box. They're going to be good people. We're going to help them get their summer jobs and get them off the streets, man. Yep. I'm proud of y'all, man. Right, Love you, cats, man. Right. Pops here. All right? Peace. Okay, you got me? Thank you, man. Don't forget to call. And keep those grades up, too. God bless your day. All right, thank you, man. These are the young boys that I'm mentoring, you guys. I'm helping them young boys get, get off the street, man. I'm helping young... You know, those young boys I just talked to, um, they listen. Uh, I can tell they came from good families. I, they, they have good parents. I can tell their parents are love them. I can tell every one of those young boys I just saw too, I never seen them a day in my life. It wasn't staged, it wasn't pre-planned, it wasn't prepared. It was just me walking up to them while they were playing outside fighting and I broke it up. And they listened to me for 15 minutes talk, talking about life and love, ownership, unity, growing up, being productive people in society and being our leaders of our future. You know, um, they just needed a new voice. They needed somebody to talk to today who looked like them, who was genuinely, genuinely concerned 
and was speaking with passion and meant it from their heart. And that's what I did. And when I seen them come back and I gave them the cards about Pick TV Network and what we want to do to help them, they lit up like a Christmas tree. You've seen them want to take pictures with me. And the little, little one said, God bless you when they left. I came to bless them. They wind up blessing me. I need everybody who's watching this who has a heart that beats right now. Pray for our young people. Pray that God will protect them. God will send people that will give them the right direction and help them to live a full life. The next thing I want you to do is support the Pick TV Network. Become a member of Pick TV. It's only $10 a month that will help us to sponsor young kids like that. When we meet them, we can offer them opportunities. I want to give them summer jobs. I want to help them to learn broadcasting. I want to help them to learn how to do uh, streaming. I want to help them to learn how to do social media in the right way. Not text to death, not text to fight, not text to use it in an unhealthy manner. I want to help the young people. And the way we're going to win them is we're going to win them in love. We're gonna win them by going into their world. They're not coming into our world. We gotta go into their world to reach them. That's why I'm adamant about coming out of the four walls of the building and let's work. Let's not close these churches Monday through Saturday. Let's have our young people come to a place where they can come to, no matter what they're going through, they can come through and they may just have to pray for themselves. We are next generation keepers but now there's so much isolation and our young people are confused we have to be a bridge and when I cross the Wilson Bridge the Great Girl Cross now a lot of people don't appreciate the beams those 75 or 80 or 120 beams that's holding the bridge up we have to be the beams, the beams that holds the bridge up so the young people can go across. I'm not concerned about those on top of the bridge where all the beautiful pavement is and the beautiful lights on top of the bridge. We need some bridge holders. We need some bridge builders. We need some bridge foundation. People who are understanding that the young people today need our voice and direction. So that's what I'm doing. Go to www.watchpicktv.com. Become a member today with just $10. Or you can do the whole, whole 120. Or you may want to sponsor some, with some young people so we can help them. 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, they're going to get young, older. We're going to get older. They're going to get wiser. And hopefully, we'll be the ones that they look up to. And when our time has come for us to leave and expire and go on, they can remember that that man helped me or that man I met that day, David Evans, helped me. He said something that changed my life. There was a man that came into my life when I was 16 and said something. That's what I want those young people to remember that I spoke to today. And I need you to help me to do some bigger things. Call 202-505-2837 if you'd like this presentation.